Hello friends, Doug Fink, 16-time Microsoft MVP. Today I'm going to show you how you can go to a web page, go to a GitHub repo, and in a couple of steps you can create your own chatbot for free. So let's check it out. If you like what you see, please subscribe, hit the thumbs up, hit the notification bell so you know when I put out more videos like this. Okay, let's go. Grab yourself your favorite browser and up top, you can go to github.com forward slash dfink, D F I N K E forward slash chat. I have a repo set there. And in that repo, we'll talk about it in a minute, I have a GitHub workflow um, and a system prompt needed for the uh, chat in integration. No big deal, they're super simple. And uh, what you want to do is up here in the top right, is you want to say use this template and when you click on that you can get a choice to create it in a, a new repository from it again that's free click the new repository right name your repository I'm gonna name one I'm just gonna call it uh, test or demo demo chat okay make sure it's public otherwise it won't work because you have to get access to the uh, github inference AI models, which is also free. So you check name it, make sure public is selected, and click create repository. Off to the races, should be done pretty quickly. And that's step one of two. And that's it. So now you're in your new repo, whatever you want to call it. Everything got cloned. And let's see how we use this. So you can go into issues and you can create a new issue in your new repo. Um, and you can say something like uh, hello world it's always a good way to try something out I hit control enter that creates the hello uh, world issue and we're just gonna sit and wait a bit what happens is is it kicks off the action right and it will spin up and it's almost done it spins up a new github action brings in an Ubuntu image does its thing let's go back to issues and we can see that the GitHub action labeled that hello world for OpenAI GPT-41. Okay, that's the default. We're going to take care of that in a second. And then it goes off and it takes the hello world and has, hands it off to the AI model, the GPT-41, and gets the response and then publishes it as a comment in your issue. How cool is that? So it comes back and says, hello, how can I assist you today? Um, and I can say something like create a hello world function. I don't know, pick, pick a program in a pick a language. I'm going to say Rust. And I will click, click comment. And off it goes. And since that comment uh, happens, the action will kick off again. We'll let that cook. and the ubuntu gets created it goes off and sets up a bunch of stuff so this is all free this is a github action for free you have a bunch of minutes available to you it uses the github ai uh, ai models and those are free as well so now when i come back and say click on the hello world we now have a, a, a tracking of our com of our conversation so to speak where it responds, hello world, I asked for a function in Rust, and here it comes back and gives me a nice little comment, including fence blocked uh, Rust application and an explanation and whatnot. I can have go on and have further conversations here. What I want to also do here is I want to say uh, update labels. We're going to kick that off. And over here on an issue, when you click on labels, okay, notice it has one, the OpenGPT 4.1, which was created by the um, GitHub action when it first ran. And you have the standard ones as well. But by saying update labels and running it, okay, the action gets kicked off and that kicks off a workflow and it goes out and uh, grabs all the uh, labels from uh, GitHub AI inference models, all the names of them, and hopefully it put all those uh, models. Yep, and there it is. So it grabbed all the model names. And you can check that out in the workflow. Uh, and now when we come over to labels, 
um, we can see here that all of the uh, models are now available. Why is that good? Because we can do something like um, we can take off the Open GPT, and I can maybe say something like um, I don't know what's a good. I'm not good at picking out reasoning issues, but uh, I had three apples. Joe had two. How many did we have? Now, before I uh, click co uh, comment, what I'm going to do is drop the labels down. And I'm going to choose a different model. Let's see what's a good, let's see what's a fun one, right? So I can grab, let's say I'll grab DeepSeek version three. Let's try that. All right, so now you can see at the bottom I have, um, okay, I added DeepSeek and I removed the GPT-4. I have my comment. I click go for it. This might take a little bit longer because it's a reasoning model. Um, so it typically reads the the context, which is I had the three apples. It also reads the rest of the context here as well. And then it makes a plan. And then it goes ahead and gives the uh, figures out, applies the answer. So I got done really quick, faster than I expected. Come back here. Let's see what Deep Seek came back with. And it comes, you and Joe had a total of five apples, shows the calculation, and asks if it wants uh, help, you know, if I want help with something else. So there you go. Now you don't have to stick with the same hello world that we created. You can come back and create a new issue and just create a title and say, give me three ideas to use LLMs for. Get that kicked off. And again, this is your free, this is your minutes on uh, GitHub Actions. It's free to use the uh, GitHub inference models that they have set up you can see how many they had you see all the labels um, and you can sit here and ask questions have running conversations and the good part is it's easily you can come back to it easily if you know how to use uh, issues in github to see the thread of uh, conversations you had so here you go here's three ideas for large language models automated customer support support content generation and code assistance and documentation i can ask for give and an example of code assistance. Control enter. That kicks off the GitHub action because it works off of issues and comments to issues. And I spelt that wrong, but it's not a problem. AI will figure that out. And we can sit and wait for a minute, if that long, and there's the answer already. So I'm just sitting on a page, comes back, Absolutely, here's a sample of an LLM that can assist a developer. Um, can you write a Python function to check if a number is prime? So you can use it in this way. You can ask questions about, you can brainstorm with it, all kinds of stuff. And then you have a good track of what is going on. Definitely interesting way to get things cooking. Make sure you set, when you set this up, you can then come in and check out the chat YAML. This shows you how it was built. Okay, it uses basically GitHub scripts. Um, it's only a couple hundred lines. It's not super simple. It's not super hard. If you care to look at it, it's great. The other thing is I added something called close issue if not an owner. So if somebody comes along and wants to drop an issue and use up your minutes and uh, put those things on your issues in your new chat, this makes sure that only you, the log, the person that logs into the GitHub repo, is allowed to do this kind of stuff, um, because the GitHub repo has to be public. Let me know what you think. Have fun. Stay curious.